Hello! Today we'll be taking an introductory look at the macroalgae ulva lactuca, also known as sea lettuce. In this video, we will provide information on ulva and its care. We hope this will help you decide whether this special algae is good for you and your aquarium. Ulva is known for its flat blades or sheets which make up its body. It has a vibrant green color. It has no stipe but a large flat thallus that slightly changes its appearance based on how the ulva is growing. At Algae Barn, we have seen it grow in small pieces all the way up to three foot sheets. It is usually free floating in a refugium but can attach through holdfasts which make it easier to control. Ulva reproduction is typically asexual. Ulva lactuca is perfect for aquarists who are looking for ways to naturally reduce nutrients and to enjoy working with algae and spending time in their refugium. Bright lights and a slow flow as well as high nutrients in a system lend to the success of this algae. Ulva is an excellent teacher about some of the basic principles of macroalgae. By working with it and being attentive to it, an aquarist can have lots of success. Ulva is dynamic. It will grow in a variety of ways and change its morphology based on the environment. It can grow thick or thin, in sheets or clusters, smooth or wavy, or even crunchy or bumpy. It provides a high rate of nutrient absorption for those needing to combat nitrate and phosphate through their refugium. It's a great home for some of the microfauna in your reef and refugium and has strong defense mechanisms against other algae. Sea lettuce is edible by some herbivores, but not all. It likes to work with people and be handled. Even though ulva loves uptaking nutrients, it also likes good water quality. It has a high absorption of CO2 which will help elevate or balance your pH levels, especially at night. A major challenge when using ulva lactuca is positioning. Because of its large blanket-like thallus, it can catch a current easily. You may find it on the surface or stuck in a corner of your refugium. A soft rolling current is ideal for this algae. Ulva will naturally move to where the water flows through and could cause clogs for sumps with restricted areas for water to flow through. While the algae is excellent at reduction of nitrate and phosphate, it can easily deplete a tank of these nutrients when it is growing well. Long term, it can become more technical to work with as you'll have to monitor nitrogen and phosphate and you may have to harvest it so it doesn't outcompete itself. When it dies or fouls, it can become slimy and smelly. This is an algae that requires Aquarius to spend time in the refugium and to work with it. The ulva you receive from Algae Barn is homegrown by us. Therefore, it is intended specifically for aquarium use. Ulva can be purchased from Algae Barn in two ounce, four ounce, or eight ounce units. It'll arrive wet, but not submerged, in a jar or bag depending on the size. Handle ulva gently as it tears easily. However, if it does tear, it will heal and grow. Remove any pieces that are lifeless, faded, foul, or transparent, then gently add it to your refugium and observe it over time to see how it works with your current. It will do best positioned under bright light. Algae Barn really loves ulva lactuca and we recognize its strength with Aquarius who like to spend time with their refugium and get their hands wet. 